but checking the rest of the house. All right. Let's go to the piano. And the two notes. Dun 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 dun. It's just the Jaws theme. No, I need to go up here. Go up the stairs. There you go. There you go. Flowers. This is bread. I'd like some bread. Nope. Can't have some bread. Can't look at the pictures. Alright. Remember there was a cellar or something. There it is. I can't see it on this monitor. Whoop. Much better. Leaking going on here. There's a chest? <gasps> Didn't we have a key? Oh wait, it was to get in here. A room full of all the rabbits, right? Oh my god, the rabbits have multiplied! Makes sense, they're rabbits. Broken music box. I can't walk over them. Okay. Um. Nope, I didn't want to go up the stairs. I guess we're up the stairs now. What's in here? There you go. But Ma, I don't want to go to school. It's Sunday, dear. Oh, that's the mom. It's Sunday, dear. Shh. Let them sleep. Goes up and yells right in their ear. Blah! Don't step in the paint. You didn't tell me about paint. Seriously, the soundtrack for this game is amazing. Book on the floor. Looks like the tale of a girl who fell in love with a zombie. Oh, yeah. One more. Place them on shelf. Oh. I put that one on shelf. Maybe not. Is that something shiny? Oops. Turn it off, you giant doofus. Say that again, kid. Painting I can't interact with this time. I feel like there would be a significant about that book on the floor, but apparently not. All right, let's go talk to the mom. See if she's talk to a bull. Hey, those two shouldn't have stayed up that late, but I should have watched them. Not an everyday circumstance. I know, but I'm just so exhausted. I'm sure you, you are even more so. I really need to take a seat. If there's anything you wanted to ask, just let me sit down first. Okay. Let's have us a chat, Mom and dears. Oh, was there something you wanted to ask? Tom, Lily, Tommy, and Sarah in the future. I'll ask about you. You know, it's pretty unusual for someone like you to work here. With two children and all, I mean. It's not that bad, really. There's a school bus that passes through here. But how did you even end up here? Well, a few years ago, my husband passed away. What happened? He was... Oh, he was in the army. They were the last batch to be deployed overseas. Sorry to hear. I panicked. Our savings were low and the job market was grim. Johnny saw my ad and offered me this job. I accepted with gratitude. This place was peaceful too. It helped me with my grieving. Doesn't the government issue grants to war widows to help get them back on their feet? They do. And eventually, I received aid. But by then, Johnny was starting to have trouble on his own. He needed my help. Tommy and Sarah liked this place too, and so we stayed. As for Johnny, he was glad as well.
a kind gesture. We're going to miss him. Parallax with the 50 minis. Cookies for the puppies. How are you, Parallax? Thanks for jumping in. Thanks for the biddies. Judy loves him. Nom, nom, nom. Hey, thank you, Parallax. You get eye boogies. What about you? You want one? Hey, thank you, Parallax. Nom, 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 nom. This gets you every time. <laughs> Yeah, uh, Jada's the food motivated one. That's for sure. Thomas is the toy motivated one. I think deep down he really wanted a family. Oh, that was the wrong voice. Wrong one, whatever, I don't care. Just been lurking? No problem. Lurks are welcome. I mean, Sarah. What are you going to tell them about John? I don't know. I'll probably make something up. But it's no use. Kids are smart nowadays. They'll figure it out. Might as well. It's a matter of... It's the nature of life. There's nothing to hide. That one was short. Future. This is your full-time job, isn't it? What will you do when this is over? What else is there to do? Find a job in the city and live on, I suppose. It's a shame, though. Going to miss Johnny in this place. Maybe I'll come back to visit every once in a while. That was it. No more questions. Okay. Oh, hey. Before Johnny fell unconscious, he told me that you two would probably be coming soon. He said that he probably wouldn't get the chance himself, but... He wanted me to tell you thanks for him. Thank you. Sure. Wow. Let's go talk to... No! Mm. Wait. Are you down on the phone yet? Hmm. What is it? It seems like our little Johnny here has some hidden records from the old days. Hidden records? Hidden medical records, to be exact. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. That, that music. Uh-oh. Apparently, during his youth, he was administ administered a large dose of enhanced beta blockers. Oh. Aren't those, um... To block memory? And what luck, they tend to have this little side effect on the curious thing called memories. Called it! Beta blockers. Johnny didn't have a heart condition, did he? Apparently not. Which leads one to wonder if the side effects were intended to be merely just that to begin with. Would that explain why some of the memories we went to had the weird, like, cutout? It wasn't, like, nice pixel blocked areas it was all you know and it's such a large amount its impact on his memories at the time of administration must have been significant so wait a minute. you think that that's what kept us out of his earliest memories so if he didn't have a heart condition why was he on beta blockers well it's not the machine i'll tell you that the maintenance department yelled at me for scolding them. So, uh, so what now? I was just given the reconfiguration frequencies that should get us past the blockers. And once we're in his childhood, it might finally be early enough to transfer his desire for it to work. Cutouts are also because he just wasn't there sometimes. That's true. Then what are we waiting for? But just one thing. Of course, there's always that one thing. In order to activate the new frequencies, we'll need a trigger. A trigger? A hair trigger, to be exact. Something that exists strongly in the bridging inaccessible memory. And we'll need to give it to John for him to stimulate his memory internally. But what do we know of that? 
You only know, got a glimpse of his childhood memories. And even if you find a childhood photo of something, John's unconscious. Yeah, back to square one. You know, this job hasn't been such a pain in the ass for me since Nora's case last year. Likewise. Do they always work together then? This is killing me. I'm going out to get some fresh air. That was fast. Ahem. Forgot my copy. Those itches. Data blocker. Totally reading that. Alt tab. <laughs> Still like that. Drug with the side effects of dampening memories by interfering with stress hormones. Okay, so something. If he didn't have a heart, or if he didn't have a heart condition and they gave him beta blockers, something stressful must have happened in his life that caused him to have to take the beta blockers specifically to hinder his memory. And I guess that's what we're probably going to be figuring out. Whoa, dude. It smells! <laughs> Quit bar- or quit barging in and out of doors! The roadkill, Eva. It smells! I know! It's your fault for running over it! What's going on? The children are still sleeping. Wait a minute! That last memory, the one we were stuck at. Oh, snap. It was the same smell! What are you two talking about? The olfactory receptors are directly linked to the brain's limbic system, Lily. Don't you see what this means? I... What? He means that smell is arguably the most effective sense for memory recall. Yep. We can use it as a stimulant to breach his childhood memories. Gross. And the best part? Even though Johnny is unconscious, he's, he's still susceptible. I think I'm missing some vital contextual information on this whole thing. Alright, this is good. This is awesome. Now you just need to go fetch a piece of rope too. <laughs> yes, I'll just... Wait, why should I fetch it? You're, you're the one who ran over it. Exactly. I've already done my part. <laughs> what a jump. <laughs> oh, you miserable bastard. <laughs> If it helps any, I... I have a pair of gloves you can borrow. Oh, she's nice. <laughs> you made her think that she was going to be like, I'll get it. She's like, no, let's just get you gloves. They aren't really disposable gloves, but that'll probably change after this. <laughs> Alright, let's go pick us up some roadkill. I kind of hope he has something sassy to say as she's walking down there. The the ocean waves sound like what you hear in those tapes, the soothing tapes, you know, to help you fall asleep. That's what this sounds like. Aw, oh, man. Gotta find my way through all this again. What the heck? Oh. Huh? Deja vu. We've been having a lot of that. Makes me think that we're like actually a memory within a memory or something. Oh, fine. Go over the flowers. Pick up the squirrel. What kind of thing this job gets me into. It's not safe. Just bring in a piece of germ-infected roadkill like this. There's a valve container in the car. Can at least make this odor controllable. Okay. 
You know, I was wondering if she was just gonna pick it up. Where are you going? Hi. I gotta go take a leak. Outside? Okay. What a mess. The crash shook everything up. Let's see. Ah, here it is. Off to continue. Got it. Now to get some of that dirty roadkill. <laughs> see if contained roadkill odor. <laughs> Wait, does it actually not pick it up? I don't want anything more to do with this. Okay. I did see an arrow on the left side. Did it matter? Assuming we're gonna run into... Yep. Oh, hey! Did you get the road, kill? It's ready. Great. Go get it set up. I'll be right back. Where are you going? Hi. I gotta... I gotta go feed my digital pet. You walk in your Tamagotchi? What? Yeah, dudette. I've been feeding, feeling retro. Go get things set up. I'll be there in no time. There we what? I missed whatever he said that. We got something dying back there! Oh, someone. Whoops. What the potato is he up to? I have no time to check on him now. I do want to go check on him though. He's got a Tamagotchi. What is it? A Giga Pet? I forgot the names. I hated the Gigapet. Go off at 2 in the morning, wake me up. It's like, you're just gonna die, frog. I'm gonna bury you under 12 of my socks. Which made me sad, because I like frogs. So when we get to that exact point, I will send the signal. When I do, I want you to release the valve for about 3 seconds. Certainly. What time you showed up? Have you made sure the germs are sealed off? Fully sealed and filtered. Not like it mattered to a dead man. You should know that John- oh wait. You should know that Johnny's condition is deteriorating fast. This might be your last chance, you two. Whatever you do in there, good luck. Looks the last thing we need. Act three. How many acts are there? They shine their lights at the other lighthouses. And I mean, yeah, that one was significantly shorter than the first act. Let's go. Dope. We got all the memories already. Hey kids, let's see pile of Animorphs books in here. Whoa, what happened to what? Oh. Back to the Matrix. You think that this little thing is causing us so much trouble? I just want to kick it in outer space. I suppose all we can do now is send the signal and hope. Well, ready? 